Well, you've gone to all the effort of preparing your talk or your speech, and you get to the point of delivering it, but which microphone do you choose? Well, in this video, I want to unpack three choices of microphone and why one of them might be the best for you. Well, the first microphone option that you can choose is to have a microphone on a stand. The advantage of this is that it's a fixed microphone and the sound person can adjust the level uh, prior to you getting up to do your talk or to do your speech. And they can set the level so that you can set and forget with the microphone. You can have it there, you can get on with your uh, speech or your talk and you don't have to worry about it. The positive of it is that it's uh, great for beginners, so it's one less thing for you to worry about. Uh, the other reason it's an advantage to get used to a set microphone is sometimes you turn up at a venue and there's a lectern and a microphone attached to it and you have no other option but a fixed microphone. The disadvantage is that it sets you in the one place. Uh, if you were to try and uh, turn direction uh, to prove a point or to make a point in your speech or talk, it's actually going to move away from the microphone and it's going to be harder for the audience to hear the point that you're saying. Again, it locks you into a spot. It can make you look more formal because you're locked to the lectern. So that's one type of microphone that you could choose. Great for beginners, uh, but if you want some more advanced techniques, then look at the next two options. The second option is to use a handheld microphone. Again, you'll need to set this with the sound person uh, prior to you delivering your talk. Some handheld microphones are sensitive enough to hold down at a comfortable distance. Others need to be held up a little bit closer to your mouth, but set that with the sound person before you begin. And again, there's advantages to this type of microphone. There's disadvantages to this type of microphone. One of the advantages of a handheld microphone is if you do want to move uh, around the lectern, you can actually uh, take the microphone with you and therefore you can deliver a point uh, in your speech at a different location and the sound will continue to travel with you. You won't, unlike the lectern microphone which is fixed, you can move with the microphone and it gives you an advantage of moving around as you need to. The other positive with this is that if you want to raise your voice up a little bit, you can move the microphone slightly away. And if you want to uh, draw people in and make a point by having a little bit softer voice, you can move the microphone in. So you can control your own volume. It's one of the advantages of a handheld microphone. One of the disadvantages is that you have to concentrate on your microphone technique. Uh, if you go busy making points and you move the microphone too far away from your mouth, you're still gonna have that issue where the sound is not gonna come through as clearly for the audience. So it's something to be mindful and aware of. Uh, if you're more advanced in your speaking, public speaking, you're probably used to this. Uh, but again, if you're a new person in your beginning, it's one thing that you have to concentrate on. So let's get to the third type of microphone. Well, this is the third type of microphone, which is a head-worn microphone, as you can see just here. It comes with a battery pack, uh, and you clip that to your belt, or you put that in your back pocket, and then you have your hands free to make certain points in your speech. So if you want to talk about before and after, you can use your hand gestures a lot more than the other two types of microphone. The other advantage of this is that as you wander around, and again, if you move around the stage, it'll actually travel with you and the sound won't come and go as much as the other two types of microphone. One of the great lessons I've learnt when wearing one of these uh, is that you can project your voice as normal and the microphone will pick it up. If you want to raise your voice to make a loud point, the microphone will adapt to that. And if you want to soften your voice to make a point, it'll also adapt with that. It is a bit of a tedious thing to set up and get used to. Uh, you have to keep adjusting the microphone 
and particularly if somebody else has worn it before you, uh, they may have set it a little bit differently uh, to what would be comfortable on your head. I also have to adjust, because uh, it's got ear clips, and I have to adjust those uh, to fit around my glasses so it can feel quite heavy on your head, something that you have to get used to. And I've heard from people that have glasses and hearing aids that the head-worn microphone is almost too impossible uh, for them to wear and they choose one of the other two microphones. It is a great option for you. Uh, the downside is that it is the more expensive of the three options. Uh, just this headset and the microphone pack alone would be close to $700. It may not be something that you can afford. So after all that, what do I recommend? Well, find an option that's good for you. If you're a new beginner, a uh, fixed microphone will help you with that. But my preferred option is to walk around the stage and a fixed microphone just doesn't work for me. Handheld microphone gives you the option to have one hand for hand gestures if you need to. You can make a point, uh, you can still have that hand gesture. It gives you something to hold if you are nervous and you do want to uh, stop the nervous fidgeting. Uh, but also it gives you the mobility around the stage to move around the stage as you need to. Find what option is best for you. Also be aware of the options that are available in your venue. But when you're preparing your next talk or your next speech, think about the microphone that you're going to use and build into your speech uh, ways of using the microphone options that are best for you so that you can give the best speech, the best talk that's possible for you. Well, it's been wonderful to have you here watching these videos. If you found this helpful, hit the like button below and uh, perhaps subscribe to this channel so that you can get more communication techniques and tips uh, for your next speech or public speaking engagement.